okay so in the last class what we have seen we have seen incremental import right we have seen something called scoop incremental import right oh, let me this was our yeah this is what we are doing in the last class what we have done we have seen the incremental import for uh, append as well as append as well as as last modified both we have tried yesterday so you do you guys have any doubt in that area do you guys have any doubt about incremental import let's start with let's start with export let's start with export how to export the data into how to export the data to mysql okay let's look at guys so what is the preconditions as already we discussed how to export to the mysql so how to export to mysql how to export to mysql Saraswati, how to export to MySQL? Can anyone tell me how to export to MySQL? Okay. Same country you can use, uh, Ravi, I think. Uh, as we use the import, uh, like import, the same way we can use uh, export command also. So what's Just I'm guessing. Yeah, what is the precondition? We already discussed about no export. What is the precondition? Anisha, if I want to export something to MySQL, what is the precondition? <coughs> what is the precondition? The table should be created in HDFS, sorry, in the RDBMS. The table should be available. Right? Whatever the data you are going to export from the HDFS, the data should, the table should be available in a, the table should be available in a MySQL. Okay, let's go ahead and start with MySQL. Ravi, hmm. yeah. Um, if you don't have any tables in RDBMS, what's the use to export? What we do export? I mean, what we are going to export from RDBMS to HDFS? Not export is from HDFS to RDBMS. We are importing is RDBMS to HDFS. We are talking with respect to HDFS, right? When you're talking with respect to HDFS, when you're talking to okay. with respect to HDFS, we have RDBMS here. Okay. And we have a HDFS here. This is import. This is export. Understand? Yeah. Now tell me your question. No, just uh, if you import uh, HDFS to RDBMS, until now we are seeing uh, export only, right? Not, no, we are not doing any. Till today we have seen import. <laughs> scope import. import. Okay, okay. Scope import. Okay, okay. And export. If if you are uh, exporting uh, some some data from uh, HDFS to RDBMS, mm. the uh, table should be there in RDBMS, right? Correct. Okay. Now I understand. 
okay look at guys here even the document which i have given to you you guys have it so i think everyone is you guys are very much clear about import all tables import options table these are all you guys are i hope you guys are very much uh, and also you guys have told me that you guys will try the hive import so i don't know how many of you tried or not i don't know how many of you tried or not okay first i'm going to create some table data first i'm going to create some table okay so exporting so already created i hope it's already there export test is already there but i'm going to give you export test to export test to i'm going to export this so category id category name category id i uh, some other integer category department uh, category name and and i'm keeping some primary key of the category id so here this is the integer type and this is also integer type and this is the name type okay i'm going to export some data which is there in a which is there in a some specific directory some specific location training on categories.csv so I, i'm going to export that value to export that value to your scope let's look at here what we're going to do now integer integer under and some value first you create a table on this table is created okay table is created with the int int and character now i want to export from hdfs to rdbms i am doing export option i'm exporting from rdbms to uh, hdfs to rdbms right what should i do my in my hdfs uh, i should have a data in my hdfs i already should have a data correct because I'm doing from HDFS to RDBMS, no? I should have a data in a, I should have a data in a HDFS. Let's see, do you guys have any categories or CSV? Yeah. Number, number, character. So I can enter this. I can export this okay I can export this data to my RDBMS table so training one categories dot CSV training one categories dot CSV you can see here training one categories dot CSV look at guys here the, the command to export scope export and connection URL you know that username password and table name is this I'm going to export to this table and export directory from where i'm exporting from where i'm exporting from which location i'm exporting okay from this location i'm exporting and is the fields terminated by what is the fields terminated by what if you look at here the data if you look at the data fields terminated by what comma right that's the reason i'm giving fields terminated by comma and lines terminated by lines terminated by slash n number of mappers i'm giving four by default and this is just like a batch upload and this one i'll tell you that this one i'll talk about it later first execute till here execute till here And before that please check is there any data in this okay to make sure that we don't have a data in this so empty set came
try look at here total input path one total input path process number of splits are four you can see the logs It's taking some time let's see done transfer this much kb this many records are transferred now let's go ahead and execute the same command here the data is available the data is available everyone clear i'm exported data from where from hdfs to from hdfs to rdbms everyone is clear what I did here, try to understand, guys. So I didn't execute this link, these two links. I'll tell you why I didn't execute them. Okay. So what I have done, username, I have given username, password, password, and which table I'm exporting, to which table I'm exporting to, the table name, for from where I'm exporting, from where I'm exporting, from my specified location. Okay. What is my fields terminated by? If your data has a comma separated, you have to give a comma separated. If your data has a tab separated, you have to give a tab. And if your data separated by something else, you have to give that delimiter. A number of maps. How many number of maps? If I execute the same query one more time, what will happen? Let's see, guys. If I execute the same query one more time, what will happen? Can anyone tell me? Can anyone tell me? What will happen? The data will be exported or it will give you error. The data will be executed or it will give error. Oh, sorry. I think the wrong. it executed uh, really. Oh, no, I have given the wrong place. Okay. It will execute. It will execute. See the description. See the description. Category ID is what? Primary key, no? Yeah. Category is the primary key. So will it take the same data one more time? Will it take the same data one more time? Look at it is executing export dot jar export base being export this one and it's static loader class and it is and it is telling that It's taking this much time. How come it's hundred percent mapper? Sorry. It's a primary key, right? Is it overriding the existing data?
it's a hanged or it is still going on okay so actually it's, it seems that it's failed because the data is not uploaded here so if it is a primary key right it's a problem right so because it's a primary key it cannot import the same it cannot uh, export the same data again so let's say I have a requirement so why I brought this idea why I have a requirement my up, my HDFSs keep up getting updated records are coming into this my HDFS is getting updated now the updated records I want to give to HD, I updated records I want to give to RDBMS the updated records I want to give to my RDBMS how will I give so that's where your new configurations come into picture update key update key you guys remember there is something called incremental import similar way here which key I need to take which key I need to consider for update which key I need to consider for update this key if any updates are there you take into this so what type of mode look at guys here update key an anchor column to use for updates updates in where in RDBMS use comma separated list of columns if there are more columns too if you have more columns you give column 1 comma column 2 comma column 3 column 1 comma column 2 comma column 3 here column 1 comma category ID department ID you can give that you can give that number here next update mode what type of mode what type of mode I need to update it should allow only updates or it should allow only inserts what type mode or it should allow both there are two type of modes one is update only other one is allow insert update only it will update the records if any record is updated it will update only those records allow insert it will allow the newly inserted records as well it will allow the newly inserted records as well understand understand what I'm trying to say Saraswati mm, uh, Veera can you explain that again uh, yeah. update mode yeah I'll explain okay, it is hanged it went something wrong here okay okay let me show the data first here I have 58 records okay I have 58 records in that 48th record is changed to water to sub, water supposed to something else Hadoop it is changed now it is update right it is update it is not a new new insert correct Correct. So, if you want me to update the table with the new updates, or you want me to load, the, you want me to in, uh, you want me to allow the one insert. Let's say 59, 60, 61. I have some more values. You want me to take only newly inserted records, or you want me to take uh, only updates. So, when you say update only, updated records will be taken into the exported if you take allow insert it will take updated records as well as inserts also both will be considered okay understood thank you yeah so that's where we will specify like this update category id and allow insert if you want to allow if you want to allow to uh, export something and it has a new um, newly inserted records when you say allow insert it will allow the modifications as well as it will allow the new records what are the records you are updated those records will be uploaded as well as the newly inserted records also will be loaded try this example if you find any exam any issue please let me know we will try it so how many of you tried hive I ask you to create a table with the hive how many of you tried? 
how many of you tried please try them and let me know else we will also do one more time okay the next option guys the next input null string input null string what needs to be done let's Ready. say yeah yes sir swati um this updated yes updated uh, one when you are uh, doing export mm -hmm. Uh, that updated how how do you know that uh, table is updated or uh, uh, newly inserted the data into the table how do you know is there any particular uh, process is there how do you know to update that table okay. how can we know so not we when you are up uploading that when you're doing that task right you understand what I, what i asked yeah, I understood what you are trying to ask. So when you are up, updated, not the allow insert. Yes. Uh, allow insert means I can understand the new records are there. I can insert. Okay. So update. How the update is getting? Uh, how will it will be knowing it? That's that's your question, right? This one only your question, right? Yes. Yes. Update more. It's a updates only. You are telling updates only. No, how actually, it's um, my database. Yeah, go ahead, sir. Uh, Hello. See, my database is in some way, mm. so I'm working on the database in some way. Mm. So both are in different ways. Are you hear me? Yeah, yeah I'm able to hear it. Data, tell, tell me. See, our database is in somewhere. Mm. Uh, if yeah. HD, you know, our HDFS is in some, uh, so some updates are going in that uh, uh, database. Uh. So in HDFS people, how do you know that that updates? Some updates are going on. How do you know? Is there any particular process or uh, or else uh, manually? Okay. Yes. Let me try to understand your question correctly. You have a database here. You have a database here. Yeah. And you have HDFS here. This is your table, let's say I have taken as a table. Okay. Now it has one, two, three. Three records you are inserted. Your question is fourth record came. That's one. Or two. I didn't see anything. You are not able to see my screen. Could you please try to okay. re-log in? You are able to see? Yeah, now I am able to. I think some delay is there. Yeah. I have imported this one, two, three records. Okay. There is some delay in this. Okay. Are you able to see uh, Saraswati? Yes, I am able to see Ravi. Okay. Now your question is that I have inserted new records. How we will come to know the new records are there or not? That's your question? Yes, exactly. We, what we have done incremental import it is a job it is a job the job will be keep running Why some scheduler? Okay. Understand Saraswati? There will be job will be keep running. So whenever it finds... Yeah, it, now I got it. 
so whenever it find the new records it will fetch you no need to do anything you first you need to specify first you need to specify the incremental import parameters i think it is not there here yeah i can show you here you just need to specify this parameters and just leave it it will automatically get it will automatically get scheduled i mean it will automatically get executed it will always look for the newly inserted records or any any records are updated those records will be automatically bring and load into your hdfs understand understand saraswati yes ravi anyone has any other doubt yes ravi uh vira that uh, then how how does this incremental import job look looks like uh, is it just this query or it has some other parameters it is just a query and if you want to pass any parameters you can pass the parameters i have shown some time before it will be like this i mean these are all you don't need to worry about all those things most of the time it will be query like this only this query only this query um, so how do we pass the parameters if you want to pass any In parameter this these are the parameters while executing the job the job will expect to one or two parameters what are the parameters you want to pass you can take or if you want to pass something like a date and all those things date and time so the date and time anyway you can get from the linux environment what parameter you want, want okay. to pass uh, yeah uh, the la last modified parameter no that you will not pass okay that what we will do as i said before you will get query here let's say last modified value updated day let's say you might you will be executing the script the querying that or you will be reading from the file and you'll put into this value you will be doing that then this last modified value will be making use of making use of it is incremental okay we we didn't do this here what you will do you will give here let's say the last modified value i have given last value i have given here right instead of this value instead of this value i'll give this parameter like this will give understand uh yes vira thank you any other doubt guys anyone has any other doubts okay good let's move to continue this one okay let's say i have some in my data in my data one of the column is null uh vira uh where are you uploading these videos i cannot see in youtube Oh, not in YouTube. I am. I am uploading this thing to our drive only. I will be sharing that. I already shared with you guys. Already there with you also. Okay. Okay. Look at here, guys. Let's say the forty-eight column is empty. There is no value here. There is no value here. It's just an empty, empty record. Okay. There is no value. Or thirty-two record. That there is. It's empty. There is no record. if there is no record in your data what will be in your uh, database it will be null it will be in a null date in the null in the database correct <laughs> it's a null in the database yes or no guys yes no maybe if you don't have a data in to the your hdfs any column that value will be null in the rdbms now you don't want to keep it as a null you want to keep it as some other value 
you want to keep it as other value let's say the string normal to go as a null right you want to say uh, some character like uh, nvl or nal or something else you want to keep so we'll make use of that parameter we'll make use of that parameter nvl i'm making use of nvl i'm telling that if any data from hdfs as empty there is no value in it you say nvl you store into hdfs as nvl and if you have any data into our which is a number type which is a this is a string type this is a string type keep is a nvl or nvl or n1 or 0 whatever you want if it is any string data type let's say here my id this is empty id or this is empty that, that anyway that's a primary key right this is empty this 8 is empty now so if it is empty you don't want to keep it as empty or null you want to keep you can keep it as a, some specified number some specific number like minus 1 or 0 you can keep it default zero value or minus one value understand what i'm trying to say understood guys do you understood about this character yes no anisha Yes, we understood. Okay, so you guys try this the examples. Anyway, this document I already shared with you guys. You tried this, okay? If you guys are not able to do it, and let's say tomorrow we will be, uh, tom tomorrow is the last day we are going to do with the scoop because uh, we have done so many examples, and the tomorrow we'll be completing the scoop. Uh, what I'll be doing tomorrow? I'll be executing all of these commands one more time, okay? Like uh, ex export, I already did. So export update you want to see I can show you update update and uh, the null value this and hive table so these three things you guys take it as an exercise first you guys take it as an exercise and try it if you guys face any problem we'll execute otherwise we can move to the next topic there is something called scoop job which we need to talk about it so most important thing scoop job so we'll discuss about the scoop job and we'll be completing scoop tomorrow understood Tomorrow's we'll be discussing about a scoop job. We can create a scoop job. We can create a scoop job and we can we can execute it as a job. So what is a scoop job? I'll be showing you tomorrow. Clear? Clear guys? Yeah. Yeah, that's it for, that's it for today. And thank you. Thanks for your time. Uh, Have a great day. Yeah. Uh, uh, in that uh, scoop folder in, in the drive, I can see only four videos. Uh, I think uh, yesterday video is missing. Story. Only yesterday video or oh, four videos only. Uh, uh, let, let me check. You upload in the video. old videos, I think. Uh, let me see if I miss any video, I'll upload them. Okay. I think last week's videos are also missing. Is it? I'll check. I'll check. Oh, okay. You you uploaded the 2016 videos. I checked.